In this video, I'm going to show you one of the better, sneakier cover two bombs, but also a concept that I think is really, really underrated in the trips tight end formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button. I upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Each day we break down different concepts, different route combos, defenses, tips, all that stuff. Um, so if you want to get access to all those videos, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Also, I want to let you know that today we're talking about the trip side information. You can find this formation in the New England Patriots um, offensive playbook. And I actually have an ebook on this. If you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to my trips tight end ebook, but you're also going to get access to all 14 offensive and defensive guides that I've released so far this season, as well as any guides that I'm going to be releasing uh, while your subscription is active. So if you want to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to consider joining that Patreon because I think it's the easiest one stop shop type of place where you can get all the content that you need to be successful. Now guys, uh, we're talking today about a concept that you could run. You could actually run this out of almost any play in the formation, as long as you have an outside apprentice, or if you need a slot apprentice, um, you could actually do this out of, um, let me find the play here, Pat's YN. Um, but the play we're gonna be talking about today is PA slot corner. And like I said, this concept I think is really, really underrated. I think it's grossly under, underrated, to be honest with you, um, because it's just so smooth and simple and very, very, so, uh, very, very much so effective. So uh, we're going to first show it to you against cover two because I think it's best against cover two, but you can also do this um, against other coverages. Now, you can actually run this concept on both hashes. Um, it's actually a really sneaky concept when you run it to the left hash because people don't really expect that you're going to flood the short side of the field they would expect to flood to the wide side right so uh, i'm going to start out here so we're just going to go to tampa 2 real quick and the setup is actually fairly simple literally all we're going to do is we're going to post our outside receiver that's why you need outside apprentice or hot rod master um, if you want to you can also if you have a slot apprentice you could do the same basic thing out of pat's yn notice that you have a post here so all you need to do is hot route godwin to a corner um, but that's basically the concept. is It's a scissors type of type of concept. And uh, what I like to do with the slot receiver, it's honestly up to you. Um, there's a couple of different scenarios. You could put him on a flat. You could put him on a whip. You could put him on a hitch. You could put him on a drag. Any of those routes um, would be fine with me. I like to put him on a flat. It just helps with the triangle concept on that side of the field. And then I actually really like the tight end corner, but you could, if you have tight end apprentice, you could put him on a shorter corner. You could put him on a smart routed out. You could put him on a curl. Um, sometimes I'll drag him. There's a lot of different you know things you could do with this with this route concept. But really, the key is the scissors concept between the corner um, and the post. And what you're going to see is first and foremost that against cover two, this is one of the better cover two bombs. As you can see, we get the post open over the middle of the field. Now, what this is going to require of the defense is they're going to have to have somebody uh, in the deep middle area of the field. Obviously, this guy right here is going to be their user 99.9% .9 of the time. Yes, if you if if hypothetically if they have a mid read, um, a mid read does have a chance to be able to go get that because we don't have a curl. Um, you know, we're using a corner route, but I'm telling you, people really don't use mid reads. Um, and you see here, even if they have it. Oftentimes he takes that false step, and as you can see, it's a really good beater uh, for the cover two defense. Now, not only is this good against cover two, but it's actually good against the Mike Blitz three. So let's say you get somebody that wants to run some Mike Blitz three on you. Well, with the way the concept actually works here, you know, it's very, their user is going to kind of expect this middle third to take this. What you can do, though, is if you pass lead this to the right, a lot of times you can actually get that mismatch on, on that player. And I'll show it to you one more time here, and then we'll talk about the corner route and why I really like this little uh, kind of short side flooding concept in just a second. So again, we're just posting and flatting. And then what you'll see here is a lot of times this post will kind of run himself open in the middle of the field. Obviously, I'm not able to get a good animation. You know, so we have other bombs that, that bomb this, but it's just the idea of you can um, you can hit this against cover three if you get enough time in the pocket. 
once he crosses his face. So just pass lay down and inside. And you see see how it kind of slips right in there. And again, I'm not getting a great animation, but you can kind of see the idea that we're trying to trying to hit. Now, if we were to take the tight end and put him on a drag, I just want to show you how this will work. Now we don't have a vertical route outside of the field. Um, and so he's more likely to play, he's more likely to play us on the post. So that's just something to kind of think about. The shorter corner from like a hot, like if you have a tight end apprentice, it will actually help this a little bit. And I'll show you that real quick. So if you use that short corner right here like that, see how much more that takes him out of the play. And now we really isolate over the top and we have a pretty good chance with how good deep out elite is in this game, how good, like, um, you can easily, you know, kind of moss people. It really is a bad, um, you know, matchup because you're getting a one-on-one -on -one, and sometimes you'll just get this over the top. I'm just telling you. So just try it. Trust me. Uh, use the, I like the short corner because I think you're going to get a little bit better animation. Um, but you can still use this other one, but the shorter corner will hold the third or the outside third a little better. And you can see here, just pass like down and inside. And like I said, if you need a moss, moss. You know, if you're, if you're in danger of throwing a pick, just aggressive, catch it, and you'll be fine. But the real reason why I like this play so much is for the corner route to the circle receiver. So um, really any zone in the game is going to get sucked down by that flat. And the inside third, this is, or the outside third, this is what's really cool about this concept. The outside third is going to run with that post for a pretty significant amount of time. So it is, it doesn't really matter. It, it, it does kind of matter what they're doing, but this outside third, if you watch it, so like this is Mike Blitz three, for example, right? Just trying to give you some different, different looks here. So the outside third is going to run with him for so long that there, if you pass lead this up, they're not there and you're going to get that right on the sideline for about 30 yards. Now the other answer that they have is to play 30 yard clouds right on the outside from the back side or from that slot or not slot, but from that, um, from that outside corner, right? That's their, that's their other option. But the problem is if they do that, as we've already shown you cover two, um, this concept has a field day, uh, with cover two as Brady can't throw the ball, but I mean, it has a field day with cover two. Okay. So they're going to have to be, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, they, could they get back and use of that? Yeah, but then you have the short corner. I want to kind of spend just a second here on the short corner. Um, the short corner to the tight end, it will actually go over the top of a cloud, as you can see. But it doesn't go so far over the top of a basic cloud flat that a, it, it, it's, it's really about 20 yards. If you use the deeper corner, what you'll notice, and you can use it, but I want you to notice something. Let's say they're putting their, remember, this is hypothetically, they're putting their cloud flats on 30 yards. Watch this deep corner to Gronk. You're gonna see that if I pass lead that to the right, it's gonna go 30 yards. But if you put that short corner out there, it's only gonna go 20, so you can kind of cut that off and catch that in front of the, in front of the defender. That's kind of what I'm getting at, right? So, that's how we're going to be able to beat kind of the Mabel concept is if you think about it, even if they have 30 yard clouds, like this guy is going to suck in so far, just pass lead it up and it will dumb out the zones. I'm just telling you it will, you can use a, the other thing that you can do, this is why I like to hitch uh, that outside guy, that outside slot, because if we're getting a cloud flat call, which they would if they're doing Mike Blitz 3, double Mabel, this is what you would get. The hitch will oftentimes hold these clouds inside. And as you can see, it's the only outside breaking pattern. And you've got the post pulling the deep third inside. So the zones kind of essentially by nature just kind of fall inside. And then the outside corner is, is wide open because of that. So that's another reason why I really like this play. Now we'll say uh, cover four probably defends this honestly the best, but at the same time the worst. And you're gonna notice why right here. You're gonna see that the the outside quarter zone is not gonna collapse down like it probably should on this. Um, the way it should kind of work is that the quarter should pass it off to the other quarter and then he should collapse down on this corner, but it's just practically not gonna happen and you're gonna be able to hit that every time. So it's really a great little play. And, and what makes it so special, I think, is we can run this to the short side like this. 
and have a pretty significant amount of success regardless of what they do, right, from a zone drop perspective. Now, if we wanted to have a little bit better spacing and have a little bit better bomb potential, then we would want to run this with the ball on the right hash. And we also know that trips tied in is really good. It's good on both hashes, but it's got really, really good dominant uh, short side setups with the base and the pop, the the counter go and some of the other things we can do, right? So now you're going to have a lot more room for this corner to work. Notice that cover four plays it a little bit better to that side. Uh, that's something to note. Um, you, you do get a little bit better uh, of play on the scissors action over here by that outside quarter. You want to throw that down and away and kind of cut that off uh, because if you don't, obviously that outside corner, because of the spacing now, is a little bit different. It's a little bit, it, it handles things a little bit differently. As far as your post against cover four, I um, don't think it works too well still. There is some ways to get it to work. Um, the way to get it to work is to take the running back and to, you know, put him on a ghost. And I will say cover four in practice mode has been one of the best coverages in the game. But if you put the running back on a ghost, this is a five out now, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. But a lot of times, if you put that running back on a ghost, you can get that over the top. We weren't able to right there. Okay. Uh, like I said, cover three, though, it does significantly improve uh, your chance in terms of being able to bomb cover three like this. So here's a cover three. What you'll see is this post will run just a little bit better. And then again, that's where Deep Out Elite comes in. You just basically moss him if you have that situation that I just had. Against cover two, it's significantly better uh, on this side of the field. So if they're in cover two. And again, what I would do with this guy, like just based on tendency, right? Is there a tendency to run hard flats or is there a tendency to run yellows? Is there a tendency to run man coverage? Then we might want to consider dragging him, right? You can easily do this. Now you got a little shallow crosser. And then, like I said, it's just so much, but it's so good against cover two. It's very difficult to stop this against cover two. So the beauty of this concept is it's really simple, um, but it's really, really effective. If you're getting a lot of man coverage, this is another reason why I really value the short corner. You're going to notice the short corner against that tight end. I will say that's fairly consistent, regardless of route running, regardless of anything. Um, even if they have a one step there, which they probably won't, I don't – there's just not, I've not seen very good man coverage on this. Just haven't seen it. And uh, that, that route has consistently been able to be very effective for me. Now, what you want to do with your running back in terms of picking up some pressure, I want to talk about that real quick. So the base way you're going to get pressure is like this. What you want to do with your uh, – what I like to do is I like to go ahead and slide my line to the, to the right. And then my, I want to ID this guy. And all I'm going to do is just cancel my play action. He's going to come over, pick up any blitzers. And then now I've got a ton of time to be able to deliver a route. Like I said, this is one of my favorite concepts in the game. I think it's super powerful. I like the fact that we don't have to motion anybody to set anything up. I like the fact that this is a very much so a quick snap type of concept. You could literally just do it like this right here if you wanted to and just get the ball snapped. Notice that the zones, if they're not paying attention, they're gonna fall, those those zones will get pulled back by the scissors action and your hitch will be wide open or your flat will be wide open. So don't sleep on that either. Um, really go ahead and make that progression. But like I said, this is one of my favorite plays in the game. So I wanna share that with you today. I think it's a great, great, great concept uh, for both hash marks. It works on both sides. And again, the corner route is really your primary read but the, the deep post is open, then throw it. But don't force it. And if you do force it, make sure you aggressive catch so that you can kind of hedge your bet a little bit. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my full Trips Tight End ebook or if you want to get all my ebooks, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And uh, again, you can sign, for, sign up for that for just $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like to. Thanks for watching. And if you're still interested in joining the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.